This tutorial is all about the outline properties on a text. Um, first, we're going to talk about the behind fill and scale with image option. If you look at these two uh, texts, these are exactly the same text, but the only thing that's different here is the, the outline properties. Let's look at the outline properties of, uh, of this one first on the right side. So, you, so if you want to look at the outline properties, you go to your outline tool and you go to the outline pen or F12. Now it says here that the color is black, which is black. Uh, 10 points is 10 points outline. The style is uh, it's a solid line. And in here, I want you to take a look at this one. This one doesn't have behind to fill checked and scale with image checked. Okay. So we'll click OK. And then we'll go to the left one here. You go to the outline properties, go to outline pen, and it's 16 points. It's a thicker outline. But if you take a look, this one here on the left side, it's not really as thick as the one in the right side. But then the difference here is the option behind fill and scale with image. This is, I prefer to check this one behind fill and scale with image. So what does this mean? Behind fill, it means to say that the outline uh, doesn't go inside the text. The outline goes outside of the text. And the scale with image means to say, if I scale this one, I'm going to, I'm going to do a demo here. If I scale this down, the outline scales down too. But in here, uh, if I scale it down, and notice that the outline, uh, the outline does not scale with the object that was that was created or the text. So I'll put it back again. It will always be ten points. Look at the property bar here. I mean the status bar. It always goes ten points. But in here, if I make it larger the outline here in the status bar uh, increases too. So that would be uh, a good uh, indication that you have to make your outline pen behind fill and scale with image so that your text won't be distorted, not like this one here. It's kind of distorted. Okay, now let's look at the nib shape uh, option in the outline. If you look at these two texts here, uh, the outline has different properties. First, we click on the uh, this one on the right side, and we go to outline properties and outline pen. If you notice, there is a nib shape option here, and it's set to default, which is a square. Okay, and then we click OK. It's still the same behind fill and scale with image. Now in here, if you go to the to the green text, click on outline pen, notice that the nib shape is different. It has an angle which is minus 36.9 degrees. So you can change that angle by rot click and rotating it. You can make the nib size uh, thicker or thinner. Change the angle and uh, click OK. Now you notice it's different here. Okay. So that's the that's the uh, the effect that you get when you when you click on the uh, nib shape uh, nib shape uh, pen. That's good if you wanna do an effect on you know like a stylized cartoon text, which is this one. So it's really up to your creativity. But I'm just explaining how to do it and. Uh, additional to the tutorial here, I want to show you how to, I'm just going to make this blue again. And I just want to show you the interactive fill or type in letter G for interactive fill. So when you click on interactive fill and you click and drag up or trick, click drag and go to the side, it doesn't matter where the direction would go, but it makes a gradient of a fill color. Now, not only that, you can add colors in the middle, in between the white and the the blue. Okay. Okay. 
So if you want to interactive uh, tool, I mean the interactive field tool, I just click and drag the colors going to the bar. If you notice here, I've got a blue and green, blue, yellow, and white. And I can also change the, the white one. And let's say I'm gonna go orange. Click and go to that, that square there. So that's the interactive. Now if you want to if you want to decide to just delete the middle color, you just double click on it and it disappears. And you can just change the slider. There. Now let's go to outline to objects. That's also another option in your outline properties. Uh, if you look at this uh, this text here this one the outline was converted to to objects okay now we're gonna i'm just going to delete this one first and i'm going to just delete this okay so i'm going to type outline here and i'm just going to make that bigger and i'll make it thicker here okay so what's the concept of uh outline to objects now I'm going to make I'm gonna make it red first and I go to my outline tool and I'm going to choose a thicker outline. I'm just going to start at 12. Make sure you're behind fill and scale with image and then click OK. Oh, I just want to make it thicker. Let's try 24. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna make it 30. Click OK. Okay, that's good. Now I've got my text in there now. Now if you click on the text with an outline and you go to arrange and go to convert outline to objects, click. What happens here is that if I click on my text, the outline is separate from the text now. So what I can do now, I can make my outline a different fill. Like I can make it a gradient outline. Uh, I'm not limited to solid colors. So I can make it, let's just say, I want to make it a gradient outline. So I go to my interactive fill tool, or you can go to your interactive, uh, you can go to your gradient fill. Let's, let's do a gradient fill or font and fill. I can make it, uh, let's say from black to white, click OK. So now you can see that I can isolate the color of the outline with putting gradient. So I can make this black outline here. Now, let's say I'm going to, I'm going to stylize the text outline here using my interactive fill. So I click interactive fill, click and drag going up. Okay. And I can modify my, my outline or my, my fill. See, I've got black there. I can put white over here. And then I can also put white over here. Or I can move the slider. Or I can make it a different color. Okay, I'll just move it like that. Now, now you can see now that the, the outline is already object. So I can make any changes in my outline because it's separate now. And to make it nicer, I'm going to click on the outline text, the text, not the outline, and put a, a thin outline, thin black outline. Click outline pan, behind fill, scale with image, click OK. 